Well, every week, thousands of Nevadans file their weekly unemployment claims. And as they do that, the amount of money available in Nevada's Treasury Fund shrinks. Joe Moeller shows us that this will impact those who are waiting for those weekly checks. Joe? I spoke to an unemployment research expert who explained as those funds do go down, unemployed Nevadans should not be worried if their benefits will continue. I have not been successful yet to get through the phone lines at Dieter. Peggy Leiser is a restaurant server in Las Vegas. She's waited months for unemployment benefits. I don't make enough money to pay April, May, and June's rent. I've borrowed from family members. I've I've tapped out every well I know, and I don't know what more to do. She is like many others in Nevada, waiting for adjudication and money from Dieter. As more people get paid, the less money there is in the state's unemployment insurance treasury account. Nevada had about one and a half years of reserves. That's actually much higher than most states. At the beginning of the pandemic, the Nevada Unemployment Insurance Treasury Fund had about $2 billion. As of the last update from Dieter, there was nearly $800 million. More than $100 million dispersed weekly. Uh, if uh, Nevada exhausts the reserves in the Treasury account, then the Treasury will loan money to the state. Uh, to pay benefits. Chris O'Leary from the W.E. Upjohn Institute for Employment Research says unemployed Nevadans should not be worried. So anyone in the state who's entitled to unemployment benefits will be paid those benefits. Other states have already started borrowing from the Treasury. That is money that will have to be paid back. Employers in the state will pay off the borrowing sometime in the future after the crisis is over. O'Leary says it's too early to tell if employers here in Nevada will have to pay more into unemployment insurance than they did before the pandemic. Reporting live, Joe Muller, 8 News Now.